Hi, I'm Mark Malusis, New York sports personality. You've heard me on radio and seen me on TV. Now I'm teaching right here at Iona. That's right. I'm an instructor in the new sports communication and media graduate program. All classes are taught by industry professionals like myself in our brand new state-of-the-art digital lab. For more information, go to iona.edu and search sports communication or email graduate coordinator Mike Demerges. Go Gales! Hey everyone, Mike Demerges here from the Graduate Program in Sports Communication and Media at Iona College. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. These are unique times in American history and everybody's got to stay strong and stay positive. Like many colleges and universities, Iona's gone online for the spring semester. This has created other opportunities though to bring in special guests. For the Sports Communication Program, we brought in Dan Shulman, the famous play-by-play -play announcer for ESPN and the Toronto Blue Jays. He had some great advice for our sports communication class. Just listen. There are more opportunities because the program isn't as big. And Mike should never have to nudge you guys to get involved. If you guys want this, go get it. Like nobody's gonna, I, I, I don't wanna be a, like the voice of doom here. Nobody's gonna give you anything in this industry, guys. You gotta go get it. But if you go get it and work hard and show up with enthusiasm and attitude and energy and ideas, that will get rewarded, I promise you that creativity and energy will get re rewarded if that's what you bring to the table every day. Like you talk, you see some guys get praised um, during baseball games in like a big moment, like a walk-off or um, like somebody clinching a, a series where they kind of uh, just go quiet and they let the crowd take effect. What is your advice for that? And like, when's the best time to do that? And uh, when is the best time to speak up and give more emotion into the scene? Very good, very good question. So I, I call it a layout. I love the layout. So. A uh, couple of things though, radio is different than TV. You can't lay out for that long in radio. Uh, radio, you can lay out for a few seconds, then you got to get back in. TV, and, and I don't know if everybody feels this way, so let's talk about baseball specifically. It depends if it's the home team or the road team. If the road team does something big and the stadium is dead, I don't think you can lay out for that long. If the home team does it, I love it. And, and I can't count how many times, you know what I love it the best is when a pitcher say it's bases loaded, two outs, eighth inning, one run game, pitcher strikes him out, I might not say a word. And as the pitcher walks off the field, you know, the camera's on him, then they go to the fans, go to the pitcher, go to the fans, whatever. I love it. I, I just love it. And I will go on talkback instantly and say to the producer, I'm out. And, and the guys have worked with me long enough that I've worked with to know. And eight seconds may feel like an eternity, but I think it's beautiful television. I, I really do. It's, you know, the, the hair on the back of your neck stands up when something like that happens. So I, it's different radio TV. It's different home road, but I'm a big fan of it. I, I'm also a big fan just of broadcasters in general, letting it breathe a little bit. You don't want to just pound away at people constantly. I think it's exhausting for the viewer. Uh, I do it in basketball sometimes, too. Again, a big basket. Uh, at the end of a run for the home team, you see the other coach go like this. I need a timeout. Don't say a word. Man. You're five seconds to break. Let it go for five seconds. Um, I, I love it. So I, I'm a big fan of it. I, I think sometimes less is more when you're a play-by-play -play guy. And I think that's a really good example. That's a good question. Okay, thank you, Brian. Let's go to Matthew George. Matthew is a undergraduate. He's getting his uh, senior year squashed here. Um, actually graduated <laughs> in December, so this is your first year of graduate school. Uh, yes. he's, he's done play-by-play -play for ESPN Plus uh, Women's Basketball. Go ahead, Matthew. Hey, Ann, how's it going? It's going great, Matthew. How about you? Good, good. Um, so how much preparation do you do for each entire game? Because when I've been doing a lot of um, – and I've been doing a lot of games. I, I don't know how much prepping I should do because obviously play by play is always on the fly. And yeah. you have to come up with a head. And I'm, I'm uh, for ESPN Plus at Iona. Um, yeah. We've done, I've done mostly the analyst part of it, not the, not the play by play. So I'm just wondering the preparation work that comes into it. Because I used to do like a lot of like um, paperwork and all that kind of stuff really into like stat line to, um, to like their history between the two teams and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's only I Iona versus like another team. So I'm just right. wondering how much, how much work you should put into that. Right. So I'll focus on basketball. Baseball is a different story because you have so much more time to fill. So baseball is mm -hmm. a different animal. But for basketball, what I typically do, let's say I'm doing uh, Kentucky, Florida. 
Uh, I will watch Kentucky's last two games. I will watch Florida's last two games. Uh, I will go to the local newspapers in both cities and look at as many articles as I can. I will email the SIDs at both schools and I'll say, do you have a clips package? Like give me one good article on each player, one good article on, on each of the top, you know, the key guys, 10 guys on each team. Uh, and then you go to practice when you get into town and you've got game notes. And I assume you have game notes at your disposal for Iowa exactly. and Sienna mm-hmm. and whatever. So mm-hmm. um, I will usually look at the game before game notes because the game of game notes don't come out till like the day before. Uh, mm-hmm. And I like to have a little bit more information. So what I'll do, I'll do my, my chart. And I'm sure you have some sort of a chart that you have with you when you do the game. I'll do the chart with the, the rosters and the stats. 